you, you kind of design and, and create a shot best if, if you see how the performance is. You know, that's why I like to not design shots before I see a rehearsal. And often you don't even know what's going to happen. So you also want to give him enough room to not feel like, okay, there's a camera right here. I need to, uh, you know, be, I need to work within this window. You know, I don't want them to feel that. With Alexander, I know him many, many years. We met when we were very young. Uh, we, we knew each other socially. We both have a Greek background, so we uh, maybe connect a little bit culturally and through the humor and how we see things. Um, but then um, we didn't work together for a long time. I mean, knowing each other for maybe 20 years. He called me after 10 years for Sideways, and that was our first picture. And uh, it was... Um, you know, we have uh, different styles of filmmaking, but I think we found a common language that we've improved on in every picture uh, and sideways. Uh, I was discovering his... Uh, I, I love his movies. I always liked his movies, the ones he did before me with Jim Glennon. But, uh, you know, so I had to find out uh, what is important to him and what kind of... Uh, how he looks at things. And it's not always the same way I look at things. So it's a process, you know, and... And it took uh, two weeks minimum on Sideways before I really understood. Um, and then before I was able to suggest things that, you know, I think maybe could um, add something to the way he tells stories and find a uh, different perspective of things. And I think after three movies, um, we've, we've found a way to really complement each other's styles. And he's very respectful of the craft of... Uh, cinematography, he really loves uh, cinema, he knows, he's very knowledgeable about cinema, but you know, the, our aesthetics are not always the same. And I think the most important thing, uh, in general, when you take a movie, of course, there are more stylized movies, more aggressively told movies visually, uh, but we're classic filmmakers, I think. Uh, we like the same kind of movies. We like Japanese films, Kurosawa, Ozu. Um, so it's our styles are not so different. Our tastes are not so different. But uh, when we make a movie, it's always the goal uh, of the camera not to become a presence. You know, it has to be very subtle. I, I don't want people really to be conscious of the craft of the filmmaking. The same with the performances. His movies are always very performance oriented and very uh, so you do, you want to give the actors um, you don't want to get too technical with the actors you want to give them the space that they can work and we don't shot list we don't really restrict them okay we need you to hit this mark here and then move over here because we design a shot we bring the actors in we look at what they do and then they leave and it takes us one minute, two minutes, where we say, okay, we're going to do this, this, and this. And it's not that hard. It's um, very simple shots. And then if a camera moves, it only moves uh, very in a very subtle way when the actors move. Um, you know, so you don't become... We don't make a statement with a camera movement. No, look, it, it's different every, every story. Um, I was lucky to have great performances, um, which in a way tell you, you know, how you should be photographing them. When I'm working, let's say I'm Walk the Line with Joaquin Phoenix, you feel, you know, the certain raw energy and, you know, extreme emotional turmoil. So it calls for a certain kind of shot. I mean, you, you kind of sense, okay, I have to be right here to capture that. And you, you get inspired by the performance, you know. How do they communicate something emotionally, I think, is for me the number one criterion. I remember being on the student uh, jury before, and Vilmos Zygmunt was head of the jury, and uh, I remember seeing um, bigger productions from, you know, American schools or French schools and German schools, and, you know, they had uh, great uh, camera moves and lighting, and but uh, somehow, you know, they didn't connect so much. And then I, I remember that one year where this little film won from Vuj, 
And it was so simple. It was first year exercise. It had no sound. I think it was in black and white. It's just about this uh, boy running up the stairs. And it was just very simple uh, with lighting and uh, very expressionistic. And um, But it was very powerful emotionally. So you're looking, you know, I'm not easily impressed by, you know, technical aspects of the student films. I, I want to see something that, you know, with simple devices, you don't need a lot of equipment, you don't need a lot of money to tell a story, uh, a powerful story and have uh, powerful images that affect people emotionally. I think if you can achieve that with simple tools, that's a, a great accomplishment, you know. And uh, so I, I'm looking for surprises like that. Well, I remember the first year I came and I told uh, people I'm going to Poland to this festival and, you know, they give the golden frog and everybody was making fun of me like, oh yeah, great, like, golden frog, whatever, and uh, Poland and, and uh, it's come a long way and I mean, the, the stamina and the determination that Marek has and everybody working on the festival and the whole staff and it's just uh, crazy how... Uh, I mean, this year I'm looking at all the programs and it's become so multi-layered and I mean, if anything, you know, you need to add another week to it, you know, for it's, it's almost sad because you can't take advantage of its richness and, and I just think uh, it's come a long way and I know that the awareness of the festival has really grown. I mean, it's found uh, respect all around the world. Now when I say, I don't say I'm going to some festival in Poland, I say I'm going to Kamer and people know. And that's great, you know, now I don't have to say, uh, you know, there's some little festival and uh, nobody knows uh, how to pronounce uh, or spell the city. And uh, now maybe you just say Kamer Maj and people know what it is. And that's because so many wonderful guests have come and so many people have supported it. And, and Marek is so passionate and has, with his enthusiasm, you know, did, willed all these people to come, you know, travel this far and find this little town and uh, come here. So it's uh, quite impressive. <laughs>